Meanwhile, train loads of ladles carrying molten iron from the blast furnaces are moving into the open hearth department to be made into different types of steel. In one of these furnaces, a new charge is being prepared. Scrap steel and various alloys to be melted down and mixed with the molten iron that soon will be added to the charge. 52 kinds of steel are used in making Ford automobiles. 36 steels of exact formula for the car itself. 16 other special steels for tools to build the car. Testing samples are taken. The time to tap the furnace is determined. And we move to the opposite side of the furnaces to see the white hot metal flowing, soon to become 10 ton ingots for the rolling mills. stripped from the molds is taken to a huge oven called a soaking pit where it is brought to the right temperature for rolling. Lunchtime approaching, caravans of lunch wagons move in to leave well-stocked trailers in convenient locations so that wholesome and nutritious food is close at hand. Every item on these wagons must meet a strict set of specifications set up by the Ford Commissary, and prices are kept at a minimum. The men gather around and make their choice from a long list of good things. Some, of course, bringing their own food and depending on the lunch carts only for a hot dish, a hot drink, or perhaps a dessert. In such a tremendous plant as this, time must be scheduled to ensure steady production and so that all do not start or finish work at the same time. Groups of men come on and go off duty with clock-like regularity. And so, in the morning, evening, or almost any time of day, you will find some workmen with their families in the Ford Community Thrift Gardens. Henry Ford believes that man is happiest and most prosperous, as he says, with one foot on the land and one in industry. 
so hundreds of acres of Ford farmland near the plant are made available to Rouge workmen, where each man, if he wishes, has a plot of ground to cultivate as his own for thrift, health, and relaxation. Back at the plant, we move into a long structure adjoining the open hearth furnaces where the deep rumble of the rolling mills is heard day and night. An ingot glowing with heat comes out of the soaking pit and starts its journey through the rolls. Back and forth it goes under the skillful guidance of operators who handle tons of white hot metal with simple electrical controls. ready for fabrication. Other vital parts of the Ford automobile are taking form in the hands of thousands of other skilled men. Far across the plant again to the motor building. are being finished and weighed. A weight variation of more than one-seventh of an ounce eliminates a piston, while perfect pistons go to each engine in matched sets of eight. 